Hello and welcome to Project Breakout. I'm Kevin Lindemuth and I'll be teaching you how to coordinate special effects on your production. The thing with special effects is that they take time, whether it be makeup effects on set, prosthetics, or even CGI, so make sure that you plan for this. For example, with my first film, Vampires and Other Stereotypes, in one of the scenes there was supposed to be a giant rat attacking somebody. And in the script it was only a couple scenes, but it took the makeup effects guys quite a long time to do it. You know, if they're spending, you know, 90% of their time on an effect that's going to be, you know, five minutes in a 90-minute movie, um, you know, they probably don't need to spend as much time on it. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of a judgment call. In another of my movies, Addicted to Murder, there's a very bloody scene, probably one of the most bloody scenes in the whole movie. Um, you know, so it was, you know, fairly straightforward. But because the actors were going to be soaked in blood, I had to make sure all the previous scenes that were, you know, with them wearing the same clothes were shot. And that also, when we were shooting this particular effect, with this blood spraying all over the place, that we would get it right on the first take because they really couldn't do it again. And so a lot of planning went into it, and I think it was the bulk of the day just getting that effect right. In the same movie, there's a totally different effect at the end of the movie with the same vampire woman. And, you know, she gets staked, and basically her face and her body turns into what she really looks like, kind of this bat-looking monster. It was a lockdown shot, so the camera was on a tripod and the shot was set. The actress kind of slid in the spot, was struggling, then she left. And then I had the makeup effects guy who actually put the makeup on himself just to save some time because it took him like, you know, several hours to put on the prosthetics. He, you know, slipped into the same spot since it's just a head and shoulder shot and was struggling. So, and then with that, I sent it over to another guy who was doing the uh, CGI effects. And this is when those morphine effects first came out in the mid-90s, so it was a new effect and it was kind of cool looking. And it took him, you know, basically like a month before he had time to do it. So, you know, that effect took, you know, let's say a day to do all together. And then, you know, it was basically a month waiting for, you know, a 10-second shot to be done. So, again, just make sure you plan plenty of time to do your effects. Also, simple effects like, you know, welts or scars or cuts, you know, they take several hours to apply, you know, to look really good. And in Addicted to Murder, for example, there's a scene where Joel, the main character, is being bitten by a vampire, and he wakes up, and there's all these welts all over him. And, you know, this took, like, hours and hours to do because they had to apply each welt and blend it in and all that. So basically for two shots, which, you know, probably amount to maybe, you know, 25 seconds, it took them, you know, five hours to do this. When I was doing my alien agenda, my alien conspiracy movies, the majority of those were computer animation effects with, you know, flying saucers going over New York, the pterodactyls flying over the city. And, you know, this took probably about four or five months because there were just so many different shots and there was just one guy doing all these effects. So, you know, even though they were short shots, they were much needed for the movie. And I knew the guy who I hired could pull it off. Um, but, you know, I had to be patient. I just, you know, after the movie was done, sent him the footage and just basically waited the four or five months needed to get those effects back. I mean, some effects you could do yourself if you have a talent for that, but because you're going to be doing all these other things, especially if you're going to be, you know, producing and directing and maybe even shooting, I mean, the last thing you want to do is another job. But, um, you know, with one of my movies, one of the more recent ones, it was a zombie movie, and I really had no budget, you know, for an effects. So what I did is I bought these cheap, um, you know, skeleton masks and cheap gloves and stuff, and I modified them. I basically, you know, bought a couple gallons of liquid latex and just, you know, changed the faces around and repainted it with, you know, spray paint. And they looked pretty good. They looked exactly how I wanted them to look because there's really no close-up detail shot of them. I just basically knew what I wanted, knew what I needed, and I kind of went ahead and, you know, months ahead of time before the production, I, I made all these props. So basically, uh, all my extras could just pull on masks and pull on gloves and old clothes and, and go for it, basically. And it worked out well. But, you know, I would recommend trying to find an effects person or trying to find somebody who wants to do effects and learn effects um, because it's one less thing that you have to do. As with any other part of the production, you know, plan out the special effects as best as you can. You know, talk to your makeup effects guys, ask them how long it's going to take them to build the prop, if they need to build a prop, how long it'll take them to put, you know, the appliance on a person. You know, find out all this. They'll be able to tell you. And knowing how long it's going to take to do things, you know, while you're doing your production schedule, schedule that in. 
And you know, if you could do something else while they're adding the effect or whatever to somebody else, do that. But you know, know as much as you can about the whole process beforehand. And this goes for the, you know, again, the live makeup effects and the CGI effects. Ideally, what you should do is, you know, all the effects in the movie, try to keep it at the start of the movie. If you're shooting it for, let's say, you know, two weeks, make sure you get all your effects done, at least all your physical effects, you know, that happen on set and with the actors. Have it done within the first week and even the first several days because that's going to be the hardest uh, to coordinate because you're going to have more people and it's best always to get the hardest stuff done first. Thanks for watching. This is Kevin Lindenmuth on behalf of Project Breakout. Tune in again for more career advancing advice.